Hello, and welcome to the Bartender Video Tutorials. In this video, you will learn how to configure user permissions using the Bartender Administration Console. User-based security settings are available in Bartender's Automation and Enterprise Automation Editions. If you are an administrator on your local computer, you can access Administration Console through the Windows Start menu or from the Bartender Tools menu. This applies to anyone who is an administrator on a bartender computer. To configure user permissions, the Enable Security Settings for this PC option must be selected. By default, the security settings are saved to your local computer in this file. You can also choose to configure another local file on your computer to save your settings other than the default location. This can be a centralized file shared between bartender installations on a network directory or you can choose to store your security settings in the Bartender System Database, where it will be centralized and shared across all the bartender installations on your network. The error handling options allow you to choose how Bartender will respond when a shared security policy is not accessible to a given machine. You can choose to either deny access to all actions or use a cached security policy. To set user permissions, open the User Permissions node under the Security heading in the Navigation pane. To assign permissions to a user or group in Administration Console, that user or group must exist as a Windows user, either locally or on the Windows domain. Click the Add button at the bottom of the Users and Groups pane to add a user or group whose permissions you want to edit. The Add User or Group dialog displays the list of available Windows users and groups that are available to you locally. If you are joined to a domain, you can select Domain to see the users available in your domain. Select the user or group you wish to add and click OK. You can remove users from the list by selecting them and clicking the Remove button. Permissions are listed by application for all of the bartender applications on the right side of the dialog. Permission can be granted or denied by selecting the appropriate checkbox for a given action. The Deny action can be used to exclude one or more members of a group that is otherwise allowed. If neither Allow or Deny is selected, the action will be denied. You can right-click anywhere inside a list of permissions to bring up a shortcut to set permissions across an application or across all applications. The top portion of the shortcut provides options that are application-specific. The bottom portion affects all bartender applications. Once you have finished assigning permissions, click the Apply button. The When Permission is Denied Allow Login Override option allows a user to enter a password for verification if that user has permission for the action in another user group. Once you have enabled security settings and set user permissions, Enterprise Automation users can enable logging to track a certain action in Bartender. A record for each time a user is approved or denied for an action will be stored in the Bartender System Database and can be viewed in Bartender History Explorer. Enterprise Automation users can also set up electronic signatures. This verifies that the person trying to access a feature is the same person logged into that computer by requiring the user to re-enter their password when attempting to perform a selected action. To quickly recap, the Bartender Administration Console allows for configuring user permissions. Enterprise Automation Edition users can also set up logging and electronic signatures. If you still have questions about this process, consult the Bartender Help System or check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.